All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for yet another S Fan video. And uh, basically, unpacking the good, the bad, and the ugly of S Fan's uh, dueling. Let's see if I can turn off the sound here. Uh, in this one, we are watching S Fan basically duel a rogue. And um, in this video, in my personal opinion, you can really see that S Fan really doesn't know what the hell he's doing. And I'm talking like. Uh, he, he makes mistake after mistake after mistake. And the um, the number one mistake he's making, and I can't criticize his actions too much in the confines of the duel because he's, he's opening with the fundamental mistake of he's in the wrong gear to be dueling a rogue to begin with. So he might be actually taking all of the correct actions, and I just don't realize it because he's... He's fundamentally wearing the wrong damn gear. So uh, I'll give you an example. So uh, as we can see here, I have no clue what gear he's in. It kind of looks like Rhett gear from, from, from just looking at it. But he's clearly got a Thunder Fury. He's got a Force Reactive Disc. I have a Force Reactive Disc on my Paladin. It's basically garbage. Um, in duels, it might be good. But um, let me show you what S-Fan really should be wearing if, if, if he was actually uh, taking this duel seriously and not screwing around. Uh, do 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 do. Where is ah right here? Okay, so this is typically uh, a type of gear setup. I'll I'll put the link in the description. Let me click this thing so I get it updated. So S Fan is technically a deep retribution paladin, and that'll change uh, your your gearing up a bit. But generally speaking, uh, what I found to be absolutely destructive against rogues is to have a demon forged breastplate a skull flame shield and the uther strength trinket and uh, i'll talk a little bit about why i did this a little bit in uh in one of my classic wow update videos like the first video i'd, I'd done after a, a long hiatus but i'll just talk about it again in fact you probably can't see this very well so uh, i'll just read it really fast all right so uh, the demon forged breastplate says uh, equip when struck has a 3% chance of stealing 120 life from the attacker over 4 seconds. Now, I do believe that this thing ticks 4 times, and it's got like a 10% spell power ratio per tick. Um, however, it's got such a, a high uh, natural life steal and damage from it at 120 that this, this thing actually steals quite a bit of life away at a 3% chance per hit. And uh, let me think real fast here. Yeah, so at my current spell power ratio, which is nowhere near uh, as high as it could be, um, I think it's like I get back something like 49 health a tick, uh, four ticks of 49 health, so almost 200 life and 200 damage um, that I get back and reflect onto the, uh, the rogue. Um, Uther Strength Trinket, I have no clue how much damage the Uther Strength Trinket, but if you use it enough, I swear to God, it's like, it's like 400 damage absorb shield-ish every time it pops, and I think it's like 300 to 500 damage, maybe somebody can actually give me the raw figures on that. Ugh. But at a 2% chance per hit, uh, when struck to give yourself like 400 hit points that's kind of terrifying that is a really solid um anti-rogue trinket from a hit point perspective and of course the last one we have over here is a skull flame shield now the skull flame shield doesn't come with any innate hit points on it but if you read the damn thing it says uh, when struck in combat has a three percent chance of stealing 35 life from the target um this has a 100 spell power ratio so at my current spell power ratio, it's like 250 or something like that. Um, but with uh, this gear spell power ratio, which is like uh, 238, this thing will heal for like uh, 278. Yeah. So every time, 3% chance when you get struck in combat uh, that you steal uh, 378 life current gear. And then on top of that, uh, which sometimes happens, sometimes doesn't happen, you get this 1% chance of doing um, AoE damage, 125. Um, about 100 damage, actually, uh, statistically. But the thing we're really looking at here is the combination of spell power with the ability uh, with two lifesteal items, uh, or lifesteal... Uh, da, 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 um, reef proc when struck items. There we go. And then Uther's strength, which is basically a uh, stamina um, return. 
So what I like to do, but this is a uh, this is a holy perspective. I have no idea about the deep rep perspective. I keep trying to tell uh, Dracova that uh, yo dog, you need to try this demon force breastplate, this skull flame shield, and this strategy. But uh, he hasn't gotten into that yet, I don't think. He's got his own thing going. Uh, but what I like to do is I'll put on a good old Blessing of Sanctuary, which really cuts down on, on the amount of damage the rogue is able to do with their auto attacks. Because if you duel enough rogues, you'll notice that over like 50% of the damage they do to you is, is from the auto attacks. Like a lot of the damage they're doing is from the auto attacks. So every time they hit you to basically be... To have 24 more hit points than you would otherwise have, every single time they hit you uh, stacks up a lot real fast. But as a deep rep paladin, I don't think, uh, yeah, you're definitely not going to have Blessing of Sanctuary pretty much, so that kind of sucks. But, uh, <clears throat> all right, so let's just talk about uh, uh, this build in general. Uh, would I keep the hit point items? Probably. Okay, so what do I want to go? Ah, so even if I had, um, even if I had Thunder Fury... Let's not talk about that yet, because I got Husk here. So, the other option to go besides Skullflame Shield is the Black Husk Shield. Now, I'm about to lay some shit down on you guys. So, I haven't really tested the Black Skull, uh, the Black Husk Shield, but I have been... Uh, <laughs> I've been stockpiling a lot of them on an alt bank account, because they only drop off of a Silver Elite. And uh, they have limited charges. But let me read this stupid thing for you really fast. So it's a level 19 shield, so it's got complete shit stats, but eh, bear with me. Uh, use. Attempt to cure one poison effect on the target and one more poison effect every two seconds for eight seconds. Five minute cooldown, five charges, 70% chance to drop off of Leech Widow. That is the Black Husk Shield. Uh, Husk and Rubian, that's a, that's a Shadow Resist. So I haven't tested this on rogues yet, but if this thing has a chance of removing the, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, they're blind, then it might be your boy, especially since it gives you like eight seconds uh, of blind immunity when uh, you can really feel it coming. I don't know how quickly you can use it when you switch to it, so it might be shit, right? It might be amazing, it might be shit, haven't really tested it. I do know, however, that uh, Skullflame Shield is not going to let you down with uh with the spell power build okay so in this gear even with my shitty gear i've been able to go toe to toe with some of the with with vampire clan rogues which is what he's fighting in, in this video and just because uh demon forge breastplate skull flame shield and uther strength are just giving me all this damn juicy like hit points and it's, it's really putting stress on the rogue um hit point wise as well you're able to just sustain 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 and the other thing i was going to bring up is even if i had a thunder fury i don't like thunder fury in this particular matchup over uh good old ed where's ed Edward the Odd. Come on, let's go. Edward the Odd. Hand of Edward the Odd. Okay, over over Senor Edward the Odd. And the reason for this is because everything at this point is just synergizing, right? I, I've got I've got like an 8% chance every time the rogue hits me to gain back hit points. And then Edward the Odd is also giving me a chance every time I hit the rogue, like a 5.6% uh, 5 chance every time I hit the rogue with Seal of Righteousness that I just get a free freaking heal out of nowhere. And if you've seen my uh, Versus Rogue guide, which is still 100% viable, um, Edward the Odd is your boy. Like, he, he's real good. And uh, on top of that, uh, as, we get, as we'll see in this duel, S-Fan's not doing the... He's not stopping his auto attacks to cast a Flash of Light at all, forcing the, the Rogue to kick him, as I explained in my video, which uh, you want him to use that energy on kicks um uh, whether they succeed or not for the free heals uh he's not deep enough uh, uh protection to get the benefit of uh improved concentration aura which is what i use against rogues but all that said this motherfucker has repent like repent is like two free heals when used properly in a duel against a rogue um especially if you're going this this crazy durability style of play so just just, just hear me out here it's like Okay, so you can easily live, with this gear, you can easily live through the, like, two blinds, right? Um, in theory, you might have a PvP trinket here instead, 
So you're like, maybe you're trinketing uh, their, their, their next stun out of a blind and, and an entire opening goes away and you're healing yourself off of the stun, right? So you heal yourself off the stun. That's like a 40. Oh, hell, you come out of it. You repent, you repent that motherfucker. That, 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 then you heal off of it. Um, then he comes at you again. You, 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 when you get low life, you trinket out of that and then you stun him and you heal off of the stun. Uh, then <clears throat> you haven't even used the damn bubble yet. Um, then by the time, uh, or maybe, I don't, I'm not sure which one you, you, you juggle first, but you, you juggle repent and you juggle your stun and you juggle your, um, you your trinket? No. You juggle, juggle repent, juggle stun, and you just keep yourself so high life with this gear set up that the rogues literally cannot do anything to you. Like they will, it'll, it'll be like a five to six minute duel and the rogue will still be over there going, ah! wanting to kill themselves and your win condition is basically your full life your bubbles are coming back or you didn't even need to use your damn bubbles and you're you're like okay now it's time to get real and you start coming after this rogue with like a hand of rag if you're s fan or some other uh, two-handed weapon or you just switch into like a, a deathbringer or something but uh typically how i'll kill a rogue is they'll eventually run out of their vanish and they're out of blinds, and I'm just like, here, have a skelly summon, have some pet summons, have a defender of the timber maw, uh, uh, have have this this pet summon to keep you in combat while I run your ass down, stun you, and then kill you. They 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 just they just die. Like I'm just gonna put it that way. They 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 kill themselves trying to kill you, and they can't really do anything about it. And that's that's when you're playing it proper. Uh, but yeah, so demon forge breastplate, skull flame shield, hand of the Edward the Odd. Uh, spell power gear, uh, heavy stamina, and uh, Uther strength trinket. Definitely the way to go versus a rogue, uh, even if you're deep ret, is basically what I'm saying. Um, but let's get back to the duel and watch S Fan. Basically, in my opinion, suck. Okay, so what is happening here? So S Fan, ha S Fan, we will go back a bit. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so this is the opener. <clears throat> Okay, so he's in the wrong gear, like I said. So my my experience of you can't learn to, to you can't learn what to do properly against a rogue until you're in the right gear versus a rogue. And since he's already screwed up that, in my opinion, uh, I I'm going to be critical of his actions. But the truth is, he might be doing everything wrong for having fucked up his gear. So let's just see here. Okay, so going for the combo point sapped and then the rogue will do the opener and uh what the hell how do you get out of that is it, okay go back i have no idea how he got out of that um but anyway he's out of the stun he's going for the heal his thing prox what do we got rolling here exactly um this rogue is chunking s fan really bad like this rogue is is tearing s fan to pieces but that's because he, he doesn't have the gear he go oh god okay so that's bad um he went for the kill right there let's go back again Okay, so I actually want to see how he got out of this. Come on, how did you get out? Did he not open with a stun? Is he a different type of rogue? Hmm. Ah, yeah, he might be one of those hemo rogues. Yeah, okay, so he didn't open with a stun. That's what's going on. So he didn't actually get out of the stun. But because we're dealing with, like, the, uh, I think it's the hemo rogue, um, he's, he's just going to do terrible, terrible things to ask fan uh, DPS-wise. Um, do, 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 this is bad right here. Okay, so what did he do? He's, uh, he's using his stun, and he's using his grenade stun, and he's going for a kill on a near full life rogue, uh, with a one-handed weapon, no reckoning, and he's not healing himself at all. Mm. This should not work in a million years. So let's see if it works. Do, 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 uh, not even close. Okay, that was adorable. Oh, bubble. Okay, so it gets worse. He's doubling down on his mistake. He just, he made a mistake, and now he's doubling down on the mistake. Okay, so if I was following my old rogue guide, uh, basically, the rogue has now gotten out stun, the rogue has gotten out bubble, and the rogue has gotten out, uh... Uh, the vast majority of S-Fan's mana bar. The only thing he hasn't gotten out of him yet is uh, 
They got out Nade, too. Yeah, he got Bubble, Stun, Nade, and the only thing he hasn't gotten out of him yet is his Repent. So let's see if he, he screws up his Repent or not. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, yeah. Okay, so got out the Nade, got out the Bubble, got out the, uh... Anything else? I can't remember. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so the Rogue's just chilling. I don't know what the... This is just... So, it, it's like... Okay, so when you're fighting a Rogue as a Paladin, if you make one mistake, you're kind of screwed. So, to watch a chain of mistakes, to watch it literally be... There, that's what it was, stun. To watch it be, yo, I'm going to use my stun into a grenade, into a bubble, and the Rogue literally gives no shits, because, of course, the Rogue was going to give no shits. Technically, he traded bubble for... Um, blah, 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 blah. Blind. There we go. He traded a bubble for a blind, which is, which is not bad. I mean, you can trade a bubble for a blind, but um, not, not in the gear he's wearing. And to trade a stun, a grenade, and a bubble for a blind, that's just, mm, that's just pretty bad. Okay, so I think he win. No, he loses this duel. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, he's just gonna slowly die horribly because he's got no bubble and uh, this rogue still has a blind and. I think this, he bops, and then the rogue kills him eventually, and the sad thing about it is, I don't even think the rogue needed to bop the blind, but we're about to see that in a second, just because he's so, he's so low mana, and he's so weak, and you'll see that right here, so this is, this is a mistake from the rogue, in my opinion, so this is Twitch Reflex Rogue Mistake, without actually analyzing the situation, uh, the situation is, this motherfucker's in ret gear, he barely has any mana. If he converted this mana into heals, he might get 70% life. And because he's not going to have a bubble, because he's not really going to have a grenade, I don't even know where he used his repent. Um, but I think he repent and he went for the all in off the repent. Like what the hell? But uh, he should have been using all that stuff to heal and, and kind of uh, durability out the rogue. There's no reason for this rogue to be blinding us fan right now. I think he's got it in the bag even without this blind. And what's funny is he loses the, the second duel specifically because he uses the blind right here. So if I had a chance to interview him, he'd probably say that was a mistake. But um, his Twitch reflex uh, uh, basically said, oh, bop equals blind. And uh, that's a mistake in my opinion. So S-Fan is 110,000% dead, whereas without the blind, he would have been like 98% dead. Congratulations. And Kabluski. Adorable. All right, let's go to the next duel. Patow. All right, let's see what S-Fan has learned. So he shouldn't have... He's still in the wrong gear. Um, he shouldn't have... He doesn't have Bubble back yet. He might have Bop by the time this duel gets done. But uh, you're going to see, he wins this one purely off of Lay on Hands, uh, which I consider to be a loss, personally. Um, he definitely, at this point, without Bubble, he definitely should be in, in the more durability-oriented gear. So to see him in gear like this is just, what are you doing, man? Like, like what are you doing? Uh, do -do 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 -do. Now, let's see if he screws up again with, like, the Repent and the Heal. I vaguely remember he does screw up with the Repent and the Heal. Let me make sure I'm actually recording, because I haven't done that yet. Okay. All right, let's see here. Come on, boy. you got to learn to heal. You better stun and heal. I better see a stun heal. Come on, I want a stun heal. Out of the stun? Okay, that's repent? No? Well, that was interesting. Stun? Where's my heals? Get one heal off? Okay, that's decent. Um, you can see here, this is another mistake. Oh, that's how it goes back. That's nice. Okay, so that's another mistake. So he stuns, and then he's in like a 1.5 second global. So he's running away to get distance. This is the correct move. And then he's going for a holy light, also the correct move. Um, as you can see here, he's got all the time in the world to do a flash of light, but he has no time to do a holy light, which he should know from practice, which is just like, come on, bro, what the f What are you doing? How can you not know this stuff? Um, the other thing is, uh, not one time in this duel have I been seeing him just stop DPSing on the rogue, going for a flash of light, and just forcing that rogue to kick him. 
he would have so many more hit points if he was just forcing this rogue to use the, the rogue's energy to kick it more. All right, so it gets interrupted. Who would have thought? Um, he's getting slowly chased down and beat to death. Um, he's still at, does he have repent is the question. Repent heal? <clears throat> Maybe a thunder, no, thunder fear doesn't do a dot, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, lay on hands. Some ticks. Okay. Repent. Maybe he's holding repent a lot to try to catch the guy. Okay, that was a good use of grenade. I'm also a big fan of grenade defensively, personally. Uh, grenade, heal, because you can get off a holy light from a grenade. Um, and yeah, so he just wins on, on lay of hands right there. But uh, as you can see, that, that was basically... That, that was actually painful to watch a, as a Paladin player, and I, I hopefully hopefully you guys don't mind me ragging on S-Fan uh, about this, but wrong gear, poor display of tactics, um, goes for a kill in the first duel when he has no chance of killing the rogue in the first duel, um, only wins the second duel because the rogue screwed up and used the blind when he didn't have to in the first duel, I'm pretty sure he didn't have to, um, if it was a holy paladin, that blind would make more sense, but since you're dealing with a rep paladin in the wrong gear, um, it doesn't make any sense. And then he only wins a second duel, uh, because of Leon Hands, which I consider to be a loss. Um, moral of the story is, especially in matchups like this, you, you want a more defensive build and you want to just try to wear down the rogue, but, uh, I could be completely wrong. I'm still desperately looking for the repent and I don't know why the repent's not working. Huh. Or if he's just uh, uh, not using it correctly. I think he repented one time and then went off a heel, but I can't really remember. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, uh, I'll pretty much leave it at that. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, so again, my favorite gear, for, uh, e just about any of the Paladins. But, oh, come on. Did I just screw that up? Am I a retard? Okay. Um, again, is Demon Forge Breastplate. Yeah, let me put a link to this in the description. Schwink, control C, is our good old uh, three per, uh, de <clears throat> Demon Forge breastplate, skull flame shield, and then Uther strength trinket. You can have a PVP trinket, a goblin mortar, or whatever else you want going in the uh, in the other section. Um, hmm. If if you wanted to try, well, he doesn't have reckoning, so he can't even go for the uh, the, the wreck bomb kill. Uh, but uh, yeah, he just just a, a a display of not knowing what the hell he's doing in this video is is pretty bad. So uh, go watch my versus rogue video um, and get a much better idea of how you should actually be approaching rogues in uh, in PvP. Anyways, so uh, I'm just gonna probably end the video here and go watch some. Uh, apparently, that was like the last win he got in the bracket. So I'm about to go see S Fan get his butt kicked like what so that might be interesting but anyways uh, i'll see you guys in the next video